Hello everyone, welcome back. Now I am discussing the topic Total and Partial Participation in Database Management System. So before that, let's see existence dependency. So in the existence dependency. The existence dependency means if the existence of an entity X depends on the existence of entity Y, then X is said to be existence dependent on Y. Operationally, if Y is deleted, so X is also deleted. So, uh, if entity existence matter are dependent on the existence dependency, rather, the existence of entity X, X is not an entity existence. Uh, depend on why uh, the entity existence in a base the Tana in the Mingil X is said to be existence dependent on why in the Vara. X Y might existence dependency Lanva. Operationally Varayanangil uh, X depend on why a base the Tayo in the Y can include Kaya Sambucha X near the fact. Y delete a chapata X and delete a pattern. Other Logic in our end. So here consider an example loan payment relation with entities at loan and payment. So loan payment relation to Kwanagi, number the previous uh, lecture the Kandavana, we can it is set in a minute. So other than the consider payment entity has payment number, payment date, and amount. Payment entity ki payment number and payment date amount. Order. So every payment entity associated with a loan entity. One payment entity is loan entity and associated with it. If loan entity is deleted, then you can payment entity. That is, if you have a loan number, you can pay the payments 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. A loan close you have a loan, then you payment entity or payment number. There is no existence. So, that is the best example. If loan entity is deleted, then all its associated payment entity must be deleted. Loan entity is deleted, that is the payment entity is deleted. So, our payment in the existence of the loan is dependent on Total and partial participation. The participation of an entity set E in a relationship set R is said to be total. If every entity in E participates at least one relationship in R, if only some entities in E participate in relationship R, the participation of entity set E in relationship R is said to be partial. The total participation is closely related to existence dependency. When total and partial participation are a page, then you under Purnam item, Pagigam item. Or entity set E, or a relationship set R might uh, totally participate in the Parayangil. Every entity in E participate at least one relationship in R. Okay. Ella entities, uh, uh, Ella entities are in the relationship quite um, related. Okay. Pakshe, if only some entities in E participate in the relationship. R. Pakshe, or a corch in it is a mathram here relationship power writer participate in the tender and angle. The participation of entities at E in relationship power is said to be partial and all. E are my tola relationship and angle out of partnership and all the partially are no one. In a totally are the Varana and the Puna item existent dependency base with that. Are on the English material exist you and all the case of Edinburgh and the total participation where that. Okay. In example, uh, every payment entity must be related to some loan entity by loan payment relationship. The participation of payment in the relationship set loan payment is taught. That is, one payment entity. Okay, one loan entity is related to So, uh, by a loan payment relationship, the participation of payment in relationships at loan is loan payment is total. That is why Payment is the way, total participation. Okay, because loan is the payment. It is the way, it is existence. In this way, it is the way. An individual can be a bank customer, whether uh, or she has a loan with bank. 
Hence, it is possible that only a partial set of customer entities relate to loan entity set and participation of customer in the borrower relationship set is therefore partial. If you have a customer, you have a loan. If you have a customer, you have a loan. That's why you have a loan. That's why you have a loan entity. You have a loan entity. You have a borrower relationship. Customer na relate ini, itu partial ini nama kita. So total and partial participation exam lah. Nah, total lama payment loan entities related by loan payment relationship set. So, berada payment exist ini nama kita pada loan yang ada gel matra. Ilegi payment ini existence ni lah, existence ni lah. So that is total participation. Ni partial participation ni lah, customer and loan entity set with the borrower relationship set. If it is, all customers are borrower. That is why the customer loan is partial participation. Customers are borrower. So that is partial participation. Next is degree. If you have a database, you can use degree. If you have a relation to degree, you can use a relationship degree under. So, that is the end of the day. We will see the end of the day. One relation, and a table in the degree in the other, that is the number of attributes in the other attributes in the other degree. One relation, the student relation, the other attributes in the other degree in the other degree. The degree of a relationship is the number of entity types that participate in a relationship. One relationship in the degree in the other degree, that is the participate in the other entities in the number. Adalah, ipun nama kita contoh mana yang ada example, loan payment itu relationship le, satu payment itu entity orang loan entity orang. Apa, adindya degree yang orang itu dua orang, dua entity itu urut kunci terang. So three most common relationship ini ER model lah, binary, unary, and ternary. Common relationship ER model ni usai nama tiga common relationship mana unary, binary, and ternary. Binary relationship is when two entities participate and is the most common relationship degree. Binary is when two entities participate in a relationship. It is a common relationship. So, here teachers are in a relationship set. And entities are in a teacher and subject. So, degree is two. In unary relationship, the unary relationship is when both participants in a relationship are the same entity. That is participants in a entity. Only cool entities are the lower entity. Relationship is the same. So that is unary. So I would subject in the entity set under relationship set is prerequisites for. So subjects may be prerequisites for other subjects. So, Mata subjek sini main di te, orang, orang pre required itu lor order lagi na sort itu dah ceri kya, orang subjek wise, tu dah anu desh ceri kya. So this is unary relationship. Next is ternary relationship. The ternary relationship is when three entities participate in the relationship. Orang relationship per, leke, mood entities participate per dua orang ni lagi na ternary relationship per na paraya. Ini ada CST itu mana yang relationship set. Tiga entity itu ada course, teacher, subject. So itu tiga ni connecti yang relationship set. Ada mana CST. Ini ada tiga entity set. Orang orang ni mana terminal relationship. Ini ada university mana need to record which teacher taught which subject in which course. Ini course lek ke ini teacher ini subject ni pergi pikir mana orang ada. Arya ni ada ni relationship ni use ni. So ini ada nama ni discuss ini ada. Degree of a relation and relationship and total and partial participation. इतने आने ना हमला discuss ये वजह. Assignment question: Define existence dependency. Differentiate total and partial participation with example. Explain the degree of a relation and a relationship. What is a binary relationship? What is a unary relationship? And what is a ternary relationship? 
So I hope that all of you understand the session. Thank you.